Okay, we are set to go. Our next guest is with us here at the table. And um, Carol Cochene, board president for the Susan G. Komen Foundation here in central New Mexico. And Carol, welcome to the Morning Brew. Well, thank you. It's good to be here. I'm starting to see a lot about the race for the cure. Mm -hmm. It must be time. Lots yeah. of pink ribbons. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's Sunday morning. We're very excited wow. about having it. Good deal. Well, people come out for this, don't they? Yes, we are expecting uh, a lot of people. We have a 10K, a 5K, and a one-mile family walk, so there's something for everyone. And, of course, the big draw is our uh, parade of survivors. Mm. Oh, tell me about that. It's called the Pink Parade, and uh -huh. all of our local survivors, whoever chooses to, comes out. We provide them with breakfast, and then they make a lap along Wilson Stadium, along the track, and they wave their banners, and they celebrate, and it's a giant party. Wow. There are a lot of tears, a lot of joy. A lot. A lot of passion. That's wonderful. And you're here because of, of a personal, it seems like cancer has affected all of us. Um, but can you tell us about your story and why, why this is so important to you? Yes, I have been involved with breast cancer fundraising for many years through business and never thinking that I would be affected personally. But then my sister was diagnosed when she was 50 years old with breast cancer and um, it ultimately was a terminal uh, illness. Mm -hmm. And the last year of her life, um, she decided she wanted family closer Despite the fact she had a husband and children that she loved dearly, she wanted someone um, that she had grown up with as well. So I dumped everything and moved west and spent the last 13 months of her life with her. Mm -hmm. And it was a wonderful 13 months. I learned a lot uh -huh. and fell in love with Albuquerque along the way and have stayed here and made this my permanent home. Well, good for us, yes. huh? <laughs> that's definitely. Nice. That's, that's great news. So is there still room if we want to participate in the, in the run for the, for the cure? Yes, there's actually morning of registration. Um, so you are able to come to Wilson Stadium and sign up right there and join us for one of the, um, what, whichever race you would like to be involved with. The 10K starts out at 7 a.m. The Pink Parade, which no one wants to miss, happens at 9 o'clock. And we have vendors. Um, uh, our national sponsors, New Balance, Ford. We have quite a few sponsors out wow. there with tents. Um, and there's lots to see and lots to do. And where is Wilson Stadium? It is um, right off of Lomas. Okay. That's, I uh, Manzano, Manzano High School? Yeah. Got Manzano it. High oh, School. thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah, it's right up there. Um, uh, how many are you expecting for this? Thousands? Thousands. Yeah, it's going to be a big deal. It really is a big yeah. deal. Um, a lot of us dress up for the occasion. Oh, yeah. Um, the but there's some crazy outfits. <laughs> there <too>. really are. <laughs> Pink tutus and oh, boy. funny. It's not a somber ears. event. <laughs> it is not. It is not. We are going to beat cancer. Mm -hmm. We've made a lot of progress over the years, and um, we know we're going to beat it, and we. Um, are, and one of the ways of beating cancer is a positive outlook. Absolutely, and, and early detection is, uh, is so important. Now, uh, talk about the, where the money goes to the Susan G. Komen Foundation. A lot of people don't realize that um, the money that they provide to Susan G. Komen locally stays local. Really? We do send off 25% for research, and I think that is what most people think of when they think of Komen is the research uh -huh. um, dollars that are invested. But 75% of the money stays right here to be invested in nonprofits who have a uh, focus for breast cancer. For example, there is um, a nonprofit that we gave a grant to who provides um, psychological counseling um, for um, those with breast cancer. We um, actually provide money for women who can't afford mammograms. Mm -hmm. And we pr actually grant out to nonprofits who provide money so that women who can't afford mammograms can receive mammograms mm -hmm. for that early detection That's piece. Great. Um, and there are nonprofits who provide wigs and uh, prosthetic devices yeah. for women who can't afford those. So the money really goes um, to help local women um, 
accomplish things that they couldn't otherwise. It's our delight to have you on today. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you very much for having thank me. Thank you. Have a great day. Well, I will do yeah, that now. And, um, <laughs> and a great event. Thank you, Carol. All for right. Being so here. nice to see everyone That's Sunday. All right. There's the uh, website for all the details on the uh, Race for the Cure this year, this coming weekend. Hey, the Morning Brew continues in a second, and we'll tell you about a piece of technology called Plug Solar. That's up next here on The Brew, back after this.